What's up? What's up? Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful, loving, and caring mothers out there. Without you guys, we wouldn't be where we are today. So I appreciate all the mothers out there. Much love to you all. The Philadelphia 76ers have answered the crack in the Liberty, in the Liberty Bell. And now there is new life in Philadelphia. There is a sign of hope for this Sixers team because tonight the Philadelphia Sixers tied the series. Since Joel Embiid has come back, it's been a different Sixers team. Um, the Sixers have, you know, uh, played better basketball. Um, you know, with him on the floor, it's the distraction that the Sixers needed all along. He has been that decoy. You know, they don't need him to score a lot of points, even though he was sharper in tonight's game. They don't need him to be the scorer. Now, we know that he's won the scoring title this season, that he was uh, huge for them as their top scorer um, all season long. But he's also a solid rim protector. They need him for the defense, particularly inside the paint. And he's been that guy. You know, and one of my takeaways from this game was how well James Harden played. James Harden finally showed up. And we've been talking about how he needs to play a critical role, you know, if this team wants to win an NBA championship. So now the series goes back to Miami, tied two games apiece. Uh, you know, is Miami in trouble? Ah, uh, yes, they are in trouble, but I do think they still win the series because, again, I feel like they're the more complete team. You know, they have a deep roster. They have a bunch of guys that can score. And Jimmy Butler, he led all scorers with 40 points, um, but it was the Sixers' balanced attack, um, you know, that overshadowed his performance as his performance went to waste. Uh, James Harden, again, showed up with 31 points, nine assists, and seven rebounds. And that's what ultimately led uh, to the victory tonight for F Philadelphia. You know, James Harden finally showed up, you know, when he needed to. And he was Philly's best player on Sunday. You know, he made nearly as many threes. He made six of them, um, as did the Miami Heat, making seven. You know, um, he was just tremendous tonight. And, and you know, that is going to have to continue if the Sixers are um, going to win this series. You know, the Sixers are going to have to score points. They're going to have to attack on both ends of the floor. They can do that. You know, this is the sort of performance he gets praised for. Um, this, is the sort, this is the sort of performance we've been expecting from James Harding. You know, uh, this was a throwback of his old self. How we are accustomed to seeing him play. This is the reason why the Sixers traded for him in the first place. Because they know how prolific of a scorer he is and how dynamic he can be uh, for your offense. You know, he he was certainly more aggressive, uh, more assertive. Uh, you know, he was attacking, you know, uh, the basket. He drew some fouls, got to the free throw line, um, looked solid overall. And, and if he has rediscovered his old self, now is a good time. Now is a damn good time to rediscover yourself. So now, you know, the, the Philadelphia Sixers have all the momentum in the world. And now the pressure is on Miami. The pressure was on the Sixers. You know, we've been talking about how much pressure the Sixers face coming into this series. That's been the big conversation. The conversation has been surrounding James Harden and his, you know, uh, subpar performances, his 
um, underachievements as a, as a as a superstar player. You know, that's what we've been talking about. But it's but it's moments like this that can shift momentum in a series. And you know, he he looked really really good. He looked really really good. He he has been a stellar playmaker throughout you know the postseason. And now you you get a thirty plus point performance from him and watch out. I mean, just watch out for, for the Sixers team. You can't, you can't ignore what they've done in the last two games. And Joel Embiid is everything for this team. Look, I said this the other day. If the Sixers are to win a championship, they're going to need Joel Embiid to be on the floor. He can't miss another game. Their season and their faith rest on Joel Embiid. Their, their season hinges on his success because he is their top superstar. So he has to be on the floor. And James Harden has to be the facilitator and the guy that puts up points, you know, and he's capable of doing that. And they have to continue to defend well, you know, and hopefully the other guys will show up as well. Danny Green, Tobias Harris, these other guys, they, they got a supporting cast that can light it up too. And they're going to have to try to do it consistently. But, I mean, don't rule these Sixers out just yet. The series is not over yet. It's a brand new series now. And it's anybody's ball game. You guys have a good night. I'll see you guys in, in my next video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this, this uh, YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Great to see you all once again. See you guys again tomorrow in another video. Good night.